Okay, a quick demo of the Konica Minolta Biz Hub C353. Today's topic um, some cicada wings arranged in a collage pattern. Just want to cl clear something up. I did not tear these off living creatures. I am not like that. In fact, I get grieved when I see cicadas dying sometimes and they're on the ground. I love cicadas. Okay, okay. just going to place them on the plate. Now the size of this, this half this page is, of that, is what's called A5. So just going to place it here on the plate. And we're going to enlarge them. And we've got some things, interesting things we'd like to try. Okay, logging in. Right, so we're going to start with auto colour. The only thing with auto colour is. Oh. Yeah, it'll, re it'll, it'll probably copy us. If it's in black and white, it'll basically go to black and white. And if it's colour, so that's when, if you want to control it, well, again, I don't want to explain this. I don't want this to be a big technical um, junket. But we'll see what happens anyway. If I foul it up, that's it. That's just part of being human. And it's always good to see an expert foul things up anyway, every now and then. It's quite it's quite a laugh. <laughs> okay, so I'll just stop it here. Okay, so we're moving on to the next stage. For some reason, I'm going for this button. Um, right. Um, so we're going to search the image up. And here is and black. Um, okay, so there we're just going to go okay, and I think we're going to just now um, hit it into my memory. So we're going to just use this one. A previous demo. Um, so we're just going to write just a reference C and C neg just for now. Yeah, I've just made some um, programming errors already, um, but we haven't actually been caught out and output a copy. Now my meter reader is due today, um, and it's funny the lady wasn't there. Now. See now we just had a clash with this would be with Patri oh see this is the complex sorry I have to always make references to negative aspects of photocopying it's not because you know there you go that's the problem it's gone auto I didn't set the paper tray so it's easy for an expert to make so this manual stuff uh, you know I've got to, I've got to talk about this when it happens because you know we nerds and geeks have got a bad reputation or Aspergians of being too pro equipment right but the thing is um, we, we, love, we love our equipment, but you've got to be crit constructively critical. But I want to show also, you know, the positive side of, of what this equipment can do. It's like a, two sides of the coin, as they say. Um, if you don't have two sides of the coin, well, it's what we call being biased. Um, but, you know, it's something I myself have been learning throughout my life, you know. That it's not just about equipment, you've got to basically then learn to make use of this gift or this talent and in the case of using a piece of um, commercial equipment like this well it goes into the possibility of redesigning it so that other users don't have problems like this but this demo is going to show what this machine can do as in the positive things but as I said I have to make note of the things that are wrong with this machine 
all photocopiers might, you know, miss the, miss the mark, okay? Um, Quantum and Ultra machines, I like them, they're really robust, um, solid, but they can be very hard to use and very clunky, but there you can just see a taste of what's, what's happening here. Well, I just forgot to enable something, right? So here we are, we've already muffed it. We intercepted it before, but I've just made it. Sorry, I'm not good at multitasking. I vowed that I wouldn't talk about what I was doing, but for some reason I've got this need to do it. So it has to be centering. That has to be switched on, and let's see what it does. Uh, I won't bother mode memorying it, but I'll probably regret it. <laughs> but I'll have to hit it into mode memory anyway, so while the machine's outputting a copy I'm just going to do a little no you can't do that now what's it doing no you can I thought it was clashing with the fact that we're okay and that's just that's because it's output a copy I think so or is it original on the plate and I'm getting confused myself so these things would drive the average office user mad it's enough stresses in the office as it is without dealing with the copier <laughs> so here we go again it's failed so even I'm struggling with it Okay, copier to power user none. Okay, see, I just say that this manual, I mean, on, if this had a previous screen like the later biz hubs, well, we'd be different, but this is a bit ambiguous. Now, the only thing I can think of is center zoom. Um, but again, that might have an issue with, I don't know. See, I haven't had experience with all the functions. Now, that zoom has, I don't know if you can actually tailor it, but we'll just try and see if it works. We'll just try a trial first. But... When you're playing with a photocopier like I am, you can actually identify what's wrong because you're pushing the machine way beyond an average user. Now, people who use these machines and, uh, would be called power users, but this goes beyond. There you go. See? That's the center zoom, but it's not big enough. Okay, we're probably going to get a feature clash. We have. You cannot be set with image adjust, which is... Oh, shut up. See, this is going to drive the bomb. You know, the thing is, these features are complicated. They're meant to be used so they say but even i'm struggling with it my iq is 137 i've got asperger's syndrome and i think about copiers every waking hour okay i'm going to mode memory that so but this is the, but if you're going to you do anything like this even the simpler simpler configs right if you're a printer like i am so basically you can if you want to use the same uh, settings again to save this make ready process um, you basically have to well you don't have to but this will save you a lot of time and money once you've done this right once you've done the configuration okay we're not going to bother resizing it we're just going to keep it as is um, I don't want to make this a long demo because people get bored watching big long videos and it costs a lot of money for those with the data. You know, data connections are not cheap. And my videos often get a little bit long-winded, I'm afraid. Now, we've just gone in the wrong place, or have we? So now, we've changed it. We're taking it off negative positive, if I remember correctly. Yes, we have. And basically now, um, I'm just trying to think. So you can see the learning curve involved, even for a power user like myself. And remember, I really love these machines. These are like... A part of me right I feel as if photocopiers are like an extension of who I am without them I I'm, I'm a cranky cranky character you know because people with Asperger's syndrome are very narrow-minded and I do have you know other developmental disabilities involving working memory and short-term memory although the short-term memory funnily enough didn't show up on the IQ test I don't understand because simple short-term memory tasks are just so nearly impossible for me to um, deal with and that's why this narrow banded learning you know because I mean Asperger's syndrome is hard enough for the average Aspie but when you've got you know brain damage due to oxygen starvation and also suspected fragile X syndrome where most characters are not who have this condition do not exceed 100 IQ or they give 100 or less IQ also, I've got visual processing disorder, which means I see only in two dimensions, which favours this flat work. Um, whereas, now, what am I doing? Just meandering here. So basically, in the workplace, when I'm working with people in, in a normal workplace, under a boss, I'm, I'm totally shot. 
and of course socially I've given up on socializing in the general public because it just causes anger now I don't like anger is not a good thing rage negativity so I have to concentrate on on what I do best and this is the only thing that currently gives me satisfaction I've got a man but he wants me to to push this campaign well just yes his name is Luigi and he's also a photocopier enthusiast and he too has Asperger's syndrome he's a scientist he, he was the one who inspired me with the idea of self-guided photocopier um, but he hasn't got the same memory deficit that I have or learning so he but this is good but you can see well yeah there's a little bit of color that looks really good so the next stage is we're going to do something very advanced here um, this is not this will clash with a lot of yeah see I've just got a clash image adjust that's stupid oh you can see that frustration levels if a normal person attempts this kind of power user stuff IQ 100 no more than 110 some of them might be IQ of 90 but the average IQ is 100 this is going to drive them mad up the wall I'm sorry Koniger but this applies to every other manufacturer too in some way But actually, I made a meal out of it because basically, again, it's not going to be as, as much of an enlargement, right? I was enlarging at 200%, which is not the standard. So we have to turn this off so we can use the overlay. It's, it's a silly noise. Now, we've lost our original size setting. You can see these clashes happen. Some of the clashes come up on, on like on there, but some of the clashes you don't know they happen until, you, until something drops out or your copies don't work. Um... So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to stick with a standard enlargement or yeah, the standard ratio, A4, A, it's the same as A4 to A3 or A, yeah, whatever, I won't go into this technical crap. So now we're just going to, um, we'll then be able to set it up. Now we're not going to get the same kind of layout that we want. Um, to get the layout that I want would just require, here I go, I'm talking and talking and copying, don't go down with my non- well, again, it's comedy, okay? We're trying to make it a bit more human. Um, so we have to now, now this machine's restricted to just, you know, monocolor, but that's all right. It's, it's different, you know, it's challenging. But what we have to do then is try and think, we register, I think we register it first. It's hard to just, it's hard to know. Uh, we're gonna override it. Um, but you can see this yes, no stuff. It's really very clunky, very, nerdy stuff it's definitely not for the average user and it's it's going to drive everyone up the wall it does and Konica and Ultra are not selling much kit and we just scanned our image okay now the thing was I did not do what I was going to do and do a test copy but the test copy the, the profile we set was good all we did was change the enlargement and remove that feature that clashed with the overlay now I'm just going to try and precisely lay this down and I'll have to pull this back um, but you see the problem with the industrial design of photocopiers is, is, is immense um, I try to be show the positive side um, because I've been talking a lot about the negative side of copiers and and this is it it's an amazing how photocopier art funnily enough yes it's one of those things I underestimated it's not just an artistic tool anymore it's actually a tool to show just how how many clashy bits this copiers have. Now you can hear my language isn't good. That's typical of Asperger's syndrome. That's why we can't get into the photocopier industry. But again, we've done something wrong. Um, for some reason, uh, stupid. Okay, let's imagine that I'm because I'm not good at multitasking. Talking is a distraction for me, right? Now let's just put it into perspective. I am not under stress immense stress all right i'm very i'm a very happy sort of person generally speaking now because i've discovered that this is me and i'm following it and i found peace within myself what i call the x factor very important and i found love with a man who's into the same stuff and a purpose for my my creativity right but let's just put it into perspective now i am a i'm a terrible multitasker because that's just the way it is right i've got asperger's that sp's are like that um but a normal person in the workplace has got another problem. A person in the workplace, scanning it, 
So we, I think we have to scan first and then we have to register it. Um, but maybe not. We'll try it again. But basically, the person who's in the normal workplace, which is what most, because Aspies don't make it, not many Aspies get into the workplace anyway, um, but normal people, IQ 100, make up the bulk of the workers in all industries. Now they have to deal with photocopiers more than us. Well, except us hobbyists and whatever, right? But they have to deal with these on a purely um, professional basis. And I'll just, I'll just switch the original around. So you can imagine in the office and, oh yes, see I'm, so imagine my speech represents office stress for a normal person. A normal person is an incredible multitasking machine. Not in the, I'm not meaning this in the cruel sense, right? This is just illustration. You, you guys are great multitaskers. You can drive a car and talk on a phone, but there you go. That's what we wanted, basically, roughly. But there, see? Overlay. Now, we're going to try a different colour with that, but basically, you can imagine the person who's normal, right, is renowned for being a multitasker. Now, we're going to get a clash, I think. I don't know. But basically, you guys can multitask. You can, without, you know, within limit, within reason, you can drive cars while talking on a mobile phone, but it's definitely not safe. Um, but, but let me tell you something. The amount of stress you feel would, would be higher than the, you know, the pressure I'm sort of feeling now, right? Doing something I like and doing something I'm good at. And not having to deal with office politics that you guys have to deal with. So, but because I'm disabled, well, I've got a, I'm, I, but the, but the thing is, your stress levels are higher. You've got more reason to make mistakes. You hate copiers. You're not kitted. So basically, we've got sort of an even odds on, right? But we imagine that this talking represents, well, office stress. Just a pure, it's not a perfect sim, but it's all we've got. And yeah. So you can imagine I'm making mistakes as I talk, right? Just imagine that this is you in the office trying to get you thinking about a whole bunch of things while you're photocopying. It's, it's absolutely going to drive you nuts. So yeah, that, that's probably, it's not, it's not easy to, to quantify, but you can almost imagine that, that this, this could represent what a, simu a rough simulation of what office stress you guys are going under while you're on the job and it's a terrible thing to have to deal with um, to think you have to wrangle a photocopier yeah so now let's just get into doing something I've got to try not to talk now because this demo is probably going to go a bit long but you've just seen um, how much difficulty why can't you put these features in when most people don't use them but if they try to use them especially with that much throwing together that many features you get clashes and yeah you just saw it you know say no more so now changing original types is an interesting difficulty as well um, but you can see the the application now of this creative function that I have and this passion that I have which you know few people have now Luigi is not on this is not on par with this kind of photocopier manipulation that I am and we've dropped out the color balance for some reason. I'm trying to think where that happened. That might have happened on the single color. So you can see that these things will just catch you unawares. And if you've only got an IQ of 100, as opposed to 137, which I was clocked at, well, I'm sorry. The company, you know, the, the industry has produced, you know, again, you know, they're not easy to design. I've got to put that into perspective, you know. But the thing is, they are. They're annoying the average user, who are the, the ones who typically haven't got Asperger's or the high IQ or the, or the task orientation that I've got. Um, Luigi doesn't have the same ability that I have to, to use it. So it shows that everyone has a place you know, in the workplace. Everyone's got different gifts that should be exchanged, but it seems as if you know, everyone has to be social these days. I hear it reverberating around suburbia, father included, and it really drives me nuts hearing it so I don't talk to people much anymore unless I have to. And if I talk like a business person, right, it's just to illustrate that we Aspies are designed for work. Well, and I talked about this concept of the self-guided photocopier in a way that's business-like. Well, I get a positive response, but it's not good enough. 
Um, but I can't fight the status quo. But, you know, we still will design a self-guided photocopy. I'm determined. You can see now something different. Okay, let's see something else we can do. So we're on auto color, it doesn't matter. But you can see, we're just, going, we're just going to show the latitude of this equipment. Now, some of these fun things we're going to do will not be able to be done with with um, what we have. We're just going to probably run one more um, copy like this. But you see, we just dropped out the brightness, or we dropped out the whole copy density. It gets to be a real circus using a machine like this. When you, and even for a person who's been practicing, um, as I said, it's it's no easy feat. So we just scanned our original right now. I'm a bit confused because I did not register the image. Um, so forget it. We're just going to wing it, okay? Sometimes it's good to have a surprise because I found that when I've been playing with photocopiers, some of the best results come when the X Factor decides that I make a mistake. Well, everything's determined by the X Factor in the end, but we still have to partake. But what happens is often the things, the mistakes, and a lot of photocopier artists have reported this in, in, in articles I've read in books, that sometimes the best results come from mistakes or errors, which amazes me, but this is not desirable in the workplace. So here we go, there's another version. And what do you know? It seems as if this X Factor has made sure that I had just enough paper to finish the demo. So yes, one thing good about the Konica Minolta copier, the positive, is this lovely bright light. The only thing is it may not be noticeable from human height, I didn't notice it until I turned around. But this, again, people don't look at indicators too much, and they often don't notice, so yes, we have an empty tray. I always like to check. <laughs> but yeah, and now the light's gone out. Um, yeah, the tray had to lift, I think. It had to, but that's it. That's, that's quite a good feature, but still, things don't go noticed necessarily. I don't know. I haven't worked in an office for years, so, or not an office in the usual sense. Well, here are the, um, here are some examples, arranged in a creative fashion. Okay, we're just going to show you a bit some of the detail in the work. Now, while these are make-readies, or, or some of them were, were make, not quite what I wanted, the thing is I don't like throwing out my spoils, because as a creative artist, they can be cut up with a scalpel and made into what's called a collage. Now, not many collage artists have been using photocopiers, which is surprising because of the way you can replicate and you don't have to wait, you know, cut up originals, but they seem to love cutting up originals. And here's that other overlay that in the middle. Again, with the show you the detail. But yeah, I'm surprised the color, but maybe it's the user unfriendliness of machinery that drives collage artists away. And here's another possibility. And here are those two failed enlargements. So, you know, I really love to make use of these. I mean, even this arrangement's quite interesting, but these can be cut up and then, well, copies, I'd rather make copies and then cut them up and they'd make really brilliant collage work. And here are the overlay images. And here's a more detailed aspect here, but you know, it's amazing what you can do with a photocopier, but even for an artistic power user like myself, probably one of the best in the world, for all I know, um, well, even I struggled. And the thing is, you know, self-guided photocopier will work on the principle that will have artificial intelligence. There are technologies available which are basically in their infancy, um, such as um, brain machine interfaces capable of sa sampling human brains and copying onto silicon chips, believe it or not, um, quantum computers, and basically a self guided photocopier will, will be able to, you'll be able to tell it to, what to do, basically as if you're talking to me, because I want to be the subject that gets sampled. I've got the, the kind of cerebral architecture and psychology engine that artificial intelligence demands and yeah so basically yeah i think we'll call it that